All right, folks, in this video, we're gonna learn how to slice and dice onions. So to start, we need to uh, remove uh, the top of the onions. We're going to do this both for our slice and our dice. Um, so when you look at the onion, um, you can see the root end that's attached, and you have these roots that are growing out. This is going to be our bottom end. We're actually going to leave the bottom end attached when we dice our onion, but we're going to remove it when we slice it. Okay, our top end, this is the part that grows up towards the sky, and you can see there's um, the little shoot that's growing out, but it's not those roots, okay? It's where all the papers come together. So the root end, the bottom end, has the root still attached, and then our top end does not. So to slice our onion, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut off both the top and the bottom of the onion. So from here, I'm going to cut north to south through our onion. And I have two equal pieces. Now, onions are composed of layers. So what I need to do is I need to remove this inedible outer portion of my onion. But I don't want to go too far into the layers because then I have too much waste. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do to slice my onions is I'm gonna follow the contour of the onion and bring my knife up and around. Now, it's really important that we follow the contour of the onion. So when I start, I'm gonna have my knife laying pretty uh, flat against the board, and I'm gonna follow the angle of the onion up until it should be straight about the middle. The reason that I don't go just straight up and down is instead of getting nice slices, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have some really, really thick slices towards this end, and then not until I get towards the middle do I get my nice consistent slices. So by angling my knife to the shape of the onion and then following the contour of the onion all the way up until I'm about halfway, I get those nice consistent pieces. Once I'm halfway, I'm gonna take my onion and I'm going to knock it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on my other side. You can see now I have really, really nice, consistent slices of onion, and I can break them apart here. And they're all the nice same size and shape. I don't have any of those big fat pieces that I would get if I went straight up and down. Okay, I have these nice, consistent slices of onion. Something that you'll notice as I am working with my onions is I'm not breathing through my nose. I'm only breathing through my mouth. And actually, I kind of keep my mouth open as I'm working with the onion to remind myself to breathe in and out of my mouth. Um, this is a, a good trick to use so that you don't uh, cry when you're uh, working with the onions. Uh, so just breathe in and out through your mouth and you should be uh, in a lot less pain. Now to dice my onions, what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna cut off that top side, but I'm gonna leave my root end attached, okay? Um, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just like I did before north to south through my onion, but I'm going to cut through at the root end. You can see here that each of the layers of the onion connects down at this root end. And I want those layers to stay attached to that root end because it's going to keep everything together as we cut through it. And I'll show you what I mean. So once again, I'm going to remove my outer layer of onion. And I'm gonna do the same cut as I did before, except instead of putting my knife all the way through the onion and slicing, I'm gonna go just down to the root end with the tip of my knife and drag it through. I do wanna make sure that the tip of my knife comes all the way in contact with my board and I pull it through. So I'm cutting through each, each of the layers all the way down to the board and you can see I'm following that same angle as I go when I'm halfway through my onion. I'm at that up angle, I'm just pushing the onion in the right direction. All right, so from here, now you can see uh, everything's still attached to my root end. So now all I have to do is go the other way down, follow down across the width. And 
and I have really nice consistent size pieces of chopped onion. They're all different sh shapes, um, but they're all about the same size. They're all going to cook evenly. Now, I could do the same technique if I wanted bigger pieces of chopped onion, okay? So this was a pretty, a, a relatively fine cut. But if I wanted bigger pieces, do the same thing, start with my onion half, okay? But I would just space out my initial cuts bigger, and then I would space out my cuts across bigger. And you can see again, I have these much bigger pieces of chopped onion, but again, they're all pretty consistent size, even though they're a little bit different shape. Let's review. When slicing our onion, we want to remove both the top and the root end of our onion. But when dicing, we only remove the top. We need that root end to stay intact. When cutting our onion in half, we always cut north to south or top to root end, never through the equator or across the side. Finally, when cutting our onion, we always want to follow the curvature of the onion. So we start with our knife face down and we follow it up until we're about straight in the middle.